associates and the boys. Because yeah. they get to take all the classes that seem cool. So I am on the software team mm -hmm. and I write code and test ideas. I also try to communicate with the uh, electrical team. It's helpful to communicate how things are going to be wired and, whether, and what's possible with the physical limitations that we have. The software team is very small, there's only four people. Uh, within the limitations we kind of just pair programming. It doesn't really fall down on me specifically to do one thing. Everybody kind of just participates in uh, whatever they can or whatever mm -hmm. is available at the time. Do you think you guys are a good team? I hope so. Yeah, I started halfway through, and yeah. so I kind of just had to you know, pick it up as I was going and mm -hmm. try to catch up with everybody yeah. else. Kids that are interested in STEM will develop their interest over time. I think that pressuring kids is not going to help. Mm -hmm. Like a, a laissez-faire approach, just do your own thing. Don't, don't hold them back, but also don't push them too hard. I guess maybe Thomas Jefferson. The way I see it is he kind of just did what he thought was right. He never really stopped pursuing that to the point where he implemented the Bill of Rights for mm -hmm. the federal government. My favorite scientist? Yeah. Um, I really like Isaac Newton because he was super eccentric mm -hmm. and he believed in how So he believed that you could change metals into gold. Um, it was, it's really fascinating. He, like, he was a recluse, he kind of just did his own thing, and yet he pioneered calculus and mm -hmm. some other stuff. It's just pretty fascinating. <music> Galaxy Quest, because it's a very well done parody of uh, the Star Trek type sci fi adventure. That's what's exciting about it. What's next with me? My haircuts.